Hi Divas, Divinely Inspired Vivacious Artists. I have an offering for you from Diamond Art Club, a recent um, offering from the Marvel comic series. And I really, this is called Transformation, and I also have their stickers. So I wanted to show you uh, up close and personal what these are like, so if you, in case you are on the fence about deciding on these. Um, transformation has a lot of um, mental health meanings for me. So it just it came out at the right time and it's very empowering. So I can't wait to show this to you. But I'm going to show you the, the diamonds, the 15 diamond painting stickers first. And I'm going to share these with my uh, grandkids, of course, um, because I think they would have a lot of fun with them too. There's 15 of them in the sticker pack, and it comes with one of the older drill kits. And you know what? You don't need anything more than this. Absolutely, you don't need anything more than this. So you have a drill pen and a squishy. You have a heart of wax. You have a four place multi-placer. Okay. You have a clear tray. And a bag of baggies for when you're finished with your your piece to put away your diamonds. I suggest little tiny stickers to put on the bag to get the air out of that. Do they come with? Yeah. Um, I suggest putting little stickers on the bag so that you know at least what the DMC color code number is when you de-kit. So here are the stickers. These are cute. <coughs> really cute. And there's five in each set. My grandson will love that one for sure. They're cute. I won't really love them. Oh, there's Groot. These are Guardians of the Galaxy. I love this. Very nice. <laughs> Very cute. Um, they go great in junk journals when they're done. They're great gifts. Each one of them come with their own pack of drills. And it's labeled with the the number that is going to go in there. Oh, look, they're rhinestones. So these are shiny ones, too. They're not just the flat drills. Let's open one of these. I think this is... Oh, I don't want to get my superheroes mixed up. So I'm not going to say who I think they are. But, um... Well, that's Captain Marvel, I believe, and the Hulk, and Spider-Man, and Thor, and Iron Man. So I got those. I got those right. I'm not exactly sure what, who these guys are. I need to see another um, DC. Uh, I mean, I need to see another Marvel Avengers um, movie to get them right. But... And then this one is definitely Guardians of the Galaxy, which is also Disney, I think. Very cute. So do they all have... Let's see. Oh, open up. Come on. Just want to look at the drill pack. Okay, they're all rhinestones. This is something Diamond Art Club doesn't do a whole lot. There are flat black 310s, but these are the rhinestone colors. Ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty. You know what? There's an escapee in here. This is a larger red one. A larger pink one. Can you see that in the middle? <laughs> There's a hitchhiker in there. And it's bigger than the other one, so I don't know how that got in there. But yeah, these are all rhinestones in the kit, except for the 310 black. And we all know that we need the 310 blacks to offset 
the color and sparkle of the other ones. So there is a need for that. Let's see. Very cool. I just wanted to give you an idea of what they are. And they're stickers. So you, when you're finished with them, you peel them off and, and put them somewhere else. That's the idea. All right. I think they're worth it. Undo. Marvelous. <laughs> Poor pun. I know. That's terrible. They are marvelous. Let's see. Let's open the big one, shall we? The transformation. I hope I can show it all to you in one spot. And I know there's a light glare right in the center, which I apologize for. Let's see, it comes in its in a special marble box because they have um, a, a special boxing. Here's some more of the, the Marvel characters on the box. It does not come with its usual 10% uh, off QR code, but let's see what's in here. First, I'm gonna open the other end because I know they like to put the kit on the end without the picture. I like to open it at the picture end because that's how I store them. I can see the picture more easily. I think she's pretty. Let's see. All right. <clears throat> Here is your... Okay, this is from Captain Marvel. They might know her name. I'm sure you do. I don't know her name specifically, but the title of the piece is Transformation. And she is a square painting, 50.8 by 76 centimeters, which is a 20 inch by 30 inch. I like that because that's easy to find a frame for, 20 inch by 30 inch, when it's in inches for the US residents. Let me see what's in the kit. Can I bring it in a little bit for that? Closer for that. You've seen the kits before, but what's in this kit? Um, it has the white boat with the stopper on the end, which is tight in the beginning, but it does loosen up as you use and use them. It's a square, so you get the Diamond Art Club pointy tweezers. You get a random colored pen and squishy, but I love this green teal. You get a heart of two hearts of wax. Remember, they have the plastic coating on each side so that you need to take the plastic coating on before you, off before you use it. You get two multi-placers, a four and a seven. <clears throat> you get a bag of baggies for either kitting up or kitting down, depending on how you use them. You get a cover minder so that when you peel back the plastic and you work on a certain section, you can pin that back between the magnet sections in order to hold the plastic back while you're working on it. And you get some washi tape. And that is so that, for several reasons, to you can put it around the edge of the painting on the edge, the little bit of the glue overlaps the painting and likes to collect dander and things like that. Um, but you can put washi tape over it. It also gives you a nice straight flat edge to, to um, use for your first row of diamonds uh, to be nice and straight. And you can use it to section off your plastic canvas, your plastic um, cover sheet. If you just want to cut pieces off at a time and you section off a small piece that you're working on at the moment. Okay, put that away for now. Let's take a look at this pretty canvas. You'll notice that it has a pinked and poked edge for, to prevent fraying. 
Ooh, she's pretty. Those of you who know me know that I am a proponent of good therapy and transformation is, I don't know, it's a, it's a theme in therapy. That's the whole goal here. But, um, so she is going to be my check here. All right. I'll show you her face up close. Can't get her all in one shot, but there she is. There she is. She's got a lot of color blocking around the outside edges, which is fine. And you know, a lot of color blocking all the way through. Um, I'm glad it's a good mixture of color blocking and some confetti areas, but mainly you can, you can do this fairly quickly, even though it is a square. Nice. I like the colors in the outer edge. They're not just the 5200 white. Oh, I see a letter Z. That means there's a special diamond in here, as well as how many ABs, Aurora Borealis? One, two, three, four. Four Aurora Borealis. That's the special sparkly ones. Oh, there's a disc or some kind of a flying thing <laughs> here. She's got a gold buckle and a big gold star here, and it looks like she's ripping herself out of, wait, green hands like the Hulk? She's ripping herself out of a green costume into a red and blue one. Ooh, I really have to see this movie. I have to know why she's transforming this way. I just like the idea that she is She's ripping out of what the whole world saw her and labeled her to be. And that she was her true self all along underneath it all. And now she's showing the world who she really is. I love that. I absolutely love that idea. Okay, so let's look at what comes with it. You get your thank you packet with your instructions and your discount code. By the way, if you've never ordered from Diamond Art Club before, check the description box below for um, a percent off of your very first diamond painting. And let's see, we have two of the sticker sheets because there are 72 colors in here. You can only fit 67 or 68 on one, one sheet. So you have two big stickers. And you have tons of little stickers. These have the sequence number, they have the symbol, and they have the DMC color code number. And the way you can tell, this one has a Z in front of it, so you know it's a special diamond. And the ones that are under the number 150 for Diamond Art Club are the Aurora Borealis drills, okay? And so far there are four of them in this set. But this one, you know what, I can, I can cut out this sticker and use it in my journal. You can put the whole thing in uh, your workbook. If you have a notebook of ones that you finished or that you're working on currently, you might want to use that for that. All right, let's see the drills. Each drill package has the, um, the item number and the name of the kit across the top. In case the drills and the canvas get separated. That happens sometimes if you want to hold your canvas out and let the, um, the there, there's no wrinkles in it. But if you want to let it flatten out nice and flat, sometimes they you hang the, the painting and keep the drill bag separately. But I like to keep it all together as one. So let me go through, and Diamond Art Club does, packages these from the most amount of drills to the least amount of drills, and they're not in sequential order. So let me go through and find the special diamonds, and then I'll, I'll show you all in one shot here, okay? All right, so let me see if you can see the colors up close and personal here. These are the different colors that are going to be in the kit. And I will show you in a minute the special ones and where they are placed in the kit. 
but I want to get you give you a good look at the colors. I like to cut them in strips of three or four, whatever will fit back in the bag the easiest. <laughs> but uh, that's just the way I do it. These are a lot of bright colors. Aren't they pretty? These are all the three tens. There's a lot of three tens, but you know you need the three tens <clears throat> to set off the beauty of the other colors. There is a role to play. The dark side of things always has a role to play. Okay. While we're doing this and looking at the colors, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the um, YouTube recommend to others who like diamond painting and crafting that they might want to see this. Hopefully they'll recommend it to other people who like the Marvel comics as well as crafting. Now this one has a bunch of hitchhikers in. You see the orange ones in there and the green. This is a leap out of the box for me because I usually like landscapes and flowers and, and beautiful, serene paintings and landscapes and things like that. But I don't always go for the superhero, popular, oops, there's another hitchhiker in there, Not popular genre, but this one just spoke to me because of the transformation. Wonderful name. Oh, I love that red. Well, it's a 606 red. Very bright red. Let me move those aside and we'll look at the special drills. You have a ton. Look how many of, it's 141, but it's what it is is a 5200 white Aurora Boreal. See the extra sparkle? They have a coating on them that reflects all kinds of colors. It just gives you, it just draws attention to that area of the canvas when you put it there. And we'll show you on the canvas where they go. You have a canary yellow and a butter yellow. And you also have the bright red. And the special diamond is a fairy dust diamond. And what fairy dust is, you'll see how in the ABs, it kind of changes the color a little. You see blue and green and other colors reflected off of the red. That's because of the iridescent coating that they put over each of the beads. These uh, fairy dust diamonds have like a little diamond dust sprinkled on them. It's clear and sparkly, but it reflects only the color that's underneath it. It brings attention to itself, but not in a way that uh, changes the color of it. And I have a suggestion for a, a special, a different special, special color for this. Okay. Now, the whites, I can tell you right off the bat where they go. These whites are going to be the pow factor of the whole thing. You can see it in the white. All this along the sides are the white. And it's like, it's like the power, it's like the flash of the whole thing. It's where the light is emanating in the painting, where the light is transforming her from the dark side to the light side. And you see it in the, the orange, red, yellow medallion here, and down in her belt and in her hair. It's reflected off the edges of her hair. It's reflected... Uh, come on down the side, reflected on the side of her. It outlines her shape here. That's where the light is reflecting off of it. And it comes all the way down to the bottom. All the light is, is in the clouds and it's the rays are even coming right, shooting right down through to the clouds. So you're gonna have the sparkle heavily on the one side and it's gonna draw your attention to that she's changing from the dark side to the light side. It's gonna go pow. And really hit you. I like that. I like that amount of um, 
sparkle in the painting. That's really neat. So that's where your white shoots in. Now how about those reds? Where are the reds going? That is a 107, I believe. Yep. So those reds, uh, and they're numbered easily, one, two, three, and then that, that the square dot, uh, so you know where in the painting they're going to go. The ones are all within her cowl here, and in the star, there's some in her hair, so she's got this flame, these flames in her hair. It's in her capelet or scarf or whatever you want to call this over here. Um, it looks like it, the cowl is attached to like a cape thing in the back, but uh, so there's little spots of them within the brightness of the cape. It's in her belt. A lot of them are in her belt. Let me shoot that away. A lot of them. There's a big chunk of them in the belt. There is some, come on down in the cowl here and up on the other side where it wraps around her. All this, the fabric scarf. Um, it actually, it's coming from her belt, isn't it? It's coming from her belt and wrapping around. So there's some red sparkle all the way. So not only do you have the white, you have the red reflecting it too. It's heavily on this side. It's heavily on the light side, the white side of things. So um, that's where you're going to find the red. Now let's look at the yellows, and I have a feeling I know where those twos and threes are going to be. While we're down here at the bottom of the painting, you do see it uh, reflected where the light hits this scarf, this cowl. You have the number three, which is the darker of the two yellows in here. That's this one, so you're going to see that reflected right near where the reds are. Let me see if I can pull her down here further. There's twos, the butter yellow. It's going to be in this conch, this medallion in the center here. Come on up here. Whoops, come on. All right, you have more of the threes again on the edges of this scarf cowl type thing. You have the twos, the buttery yellow, in amongst her hair. Uh, let's see, I see them along the side of her face here in parts in her hair parts that are not super strongly reflected and right along the outside of this the outline of this hand over here interesting it's like farther enough away from the light that it sparkles a little bit but it's not directly in the light so that's where that is coming from and i see some twos in here in the green that's being ripped away yeah, I do see it down along her leg, too, outlining this part of her leg down here. But, like, it's all coming from this side. It's heavily on this side and reflecting over to the other one. Now, the fairy dust diamonds. Where are they going to be? That is the letter S. So, the fairy dust diamonds are going to be... There's a little bit in the green, and it's highlighting little parts of the green. Here's some up here in the fist a bit. Let's see, there's some here. There's some woven like rays in the green that she's tearing off. I guess that means that that is, that is still um, a super part of her, but not as brilliant as the good that's coming out of her now. I'm probably reading into it. Like I said, I didn't see the movie. I will, however. There's some more in the... Let me see. Where are they? The S. Yeah. There's some more in the rays coming down into the leg here. Um, this part coming in. There's a little bit over here. There's some in her shoe. The edge of her sneaker. Down in here. So it's highlighting the older part of her. Uh, to me, that still means she's super, but she's not like, you know, the green part of her was not overwhelmingly good or wonderful or she, who she was completely made to be. So what do you think? What do you think of transformation? I think she's awesome. She's young. She's beautiful. She's strong. She's curvy. 
um, she is the real strong you coming out from a facade, a costume that had been draped over you. That's, that's still kind of pretty awesome, but not as awesome as you could be from the inside out if you let the true you come out. So I like it. I, I like it. This is going to be my, uh, my, um, my therapy, um, <laughs> you know, my therapy transformation. There you go. I really like it. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Stop by for our Tuesday night tea and talks uh, at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll be on. And I have lots of other things other than diamond painting. There's all kinds of crafting like junk journaling and uh, um, lots of other things <laughs> on the channel to see. So I welcome you to the Work Basket community and come join us on Tuesday nights. Bye, divas.